Good evening, you're tuning into Kansas Smith's KS TV. I'm Ossie Mensa. Tonight we've got some great live music. Musicians playing Giacomo Smith. Who? Pete Horsfield. <laughs> Daniel Hyam. <laughs> Joe Webb. Yeah. And Dave Archer. Yeah. I've got Giacomo here opposite me. Hey, Giacomo. Man. Ozzy, how are you, man? I'm good, man. I've been watching you on TV for, for months. Oh, <laughs> how have I been doing? <laughs> been really good. Been really good. Um, was back in the States. Um, had some family health problems going on. Okay. But um, everything is on the up, and I'm... I'm really happy to be back and in an optimistic situation. So. We're so excited to have it's like a you know the energy level just went up like tenfold. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Well, hopefully we'll keep it there. You know, definitely. Yeah. And what you be playing for us tonight? Well, um, we're kind of you know I I love to get to play with Pete Horsfall and um, you know it's uh, I always have to think of a, a way that we can get him in here because he he lives <laughs> quite far away. There, there you go. <laughs> That's what I love. He's about in the him. house. <laughs> He's always ready. Um, and so, uh, you know, I called him up on the phone. I always call him up because I know that he's, uh, you know, his encyclopedic knowledge of, of music. And um, I said, well, you know, what do you think about doing some of the Sidney Bechet, Louis Armstrong sides? Because, um, you know, there's some great music out of that, but it's, uh, it's also a good story, you know? So. Yeah. And he was one of the first, you know, important uh, jazz soloists. Well, you said it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He, um, he's a native son of New Orleans. You know, he's... Um, clarinet player first but he he picked up one of these which is uh which is not a metal clarinet it's a uh, it's a soprano saxophone no, ma no matter how many times you know you people still ask you they're like oh yeah i really like your clarinet <laughs> it's like well no it's not quite you know um and he i think he picked this up because he realized it had more dynamic projection mm -hmm. than the clarinet and he wanted to be the, like in a New Orleans group, the trumpet is often mm. the lead. Okay, okay. so there are you know, there are exceptions to that, but in you know, let's say nine times out of ten, the trumpet is the lead. And Bechet wanted to be number one, mm. so he picked this up and he just blew everybody out of the water. Now, mm. when he gets into the room with Armstrong, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of a conflict there mm -hmm. because you have two alphas, you know, okay. <laughs> and Armstrong is the is the daddy, right? Yeah, you know. Yeah. So you know, when we've been going through this music, it's really fun to listen to and feel like. You know, both of them challenge each other, mm. and sometimes they produce great results. Sometimes it just they just cancel each other out, mm. or you get into these kind of weird, kind of awkward um, little fighting moments where you think, "Come mm. on, guys, like we're too old for this." And uh, other times they just elevate each other. So um, the first tune we're going to play tonight um, is one called "Cakewalking Babies," okay. and uh, it's it's a nice song, but what they do with it mm. makes it come to life. You know. And he's got a very intense um, playing style, Sidney Boucher. How are you gonna? Um, how's it, how do you how are you gonna play that so it can come across tonight? Well, that's a, it's cool. You picked <laughs> up on that. You know, he um, he doesn't sound like anybody else. You know, mm. and I think that's um, you know, as I get older in 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 the music you know world, and it's so important to have your own character and to have a kind of. Um, you know, it's 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 really there are people like that who are it's almost like actors that have sure. you know a, a real personality and mm. and you go to their movies because you you want to see them do their thing you mm. know and Bechet is like that he's um he has that wide passionate vibrato but he also has quite a dark sound so he can play tender mm -hmm. but also lead at the same time okay um, and uh, I'm just gonna try and you know do him justice you know ah, you always you always <laughs> hit it you always hit the nail right on the head <laughs> of yeah. your playing style. And have you kept your um, playing school sharp during lockdown? Well, lockdown was different because I was here, you mm. know. Um, but when I was home uh, in Saratoga, you know, I had um, I had my clarinet, mm -hmm. um, and I had uh, I borrowed an alto sax from my local music shop. My mm -hmm. my local music shop is a my, my my repair guy in Saratoga is a hero. His name is Bill Cole. Sometimes mm -hmm. he turns tunes into the broadcast. So, Bill Cole, if you're watching, you know, shout out, shout out to you. <laughs> um, and I picked this soprano up mm -hmm. actually in Saratoga, oh, okay. and so it's, 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 this is its maiden gig voyage. Wow, um, debut tonight. So yeah, so so yeah. Stay, stay sharp. You know, I, I practiced a lot, listened to a lot of new music, and tried to, mm. um, you know, just stay ready for when I was back in this room. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, glad to have you. And you have, are you, were you working on any upcoming projects during lockdown, or do you well, have anything pending? Stuff here. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff here, just like what albums are we going to do? I mean, um, you know, from next week, we're going to be changing things up a little bit. We're going to be doing one album a week, which we're mm -hmm. going to just, you know, dedicate a lot of time to kind of digging into 
you know, specific things and giving those, you know, weekly broadcasts mm. more gravity. So a lot of thought about, you know, what, what all of you out there, you know, want to hear and, um, and what will be stimulating to get us through this last couple mm. of months, you know, before we can get people back in the room again. So, yeah, I won't, I won't give too much away, but um, there was a lot of a lot of that. You know, Giacomo, it's been a pleasure talking with you, and it's man, great to have you back. It's great to see you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm gonna let you set you up. Get, I'm gonna let you set up now. Thanks, my man. <laughs> All right. Please help Kansas Smitty grow by liking, sharing, and subscribing on our Facebook and YouTube page. And also you can join as a patron or make a one-off donation. We are here Tuesdays to Saturdays, um, 8 p.m. Um, so be sure to tune in. Let's kick off with some great live music.
and you're listening to <laughs> that was I'm a little blackbird looking for a bluebird and uh, we hope you're enjoying the show tonight you're listening to Daniel Hyam on the trombone yeah. uh, Pete Horsfall on the trumpet Dave Archer on the guitar Joe Webb on the piano and um, my name's Giacomo Smith um, Sidney Bechet is uh, you know, as I was saying to Ozzy before, is this incredible singular voice on the soprano saxophone. And in a lot of ways, he defines the soprano saxophone in jazz. Obviously, there are people that come after him that don't need to be named, that are uh, every bit as influential, but he was Kenny G, Kenny G <laughs> number one. Um, but he was one hell of a clarinet player as well. And, um, and Kenny can't take that away from him, you know? You ever heard Kenny on clarinet? Yeah, but he's amazing as well. <laughs> um, Sidney Bechet was uh, an incredible clarinet player, and as I was saying to Ozzy before, I think he moved away from the clarinet because he wanted to dominate his ensembles. Um, but the rare kind of pre-1940 recordings where you do get him on clarinet are a real treat. And um, one such recording was uh, between him and Armstrong and called Perdido Street Blues. And... Um, we're going to play that now for you. For Dido. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Squeeze me.
Giacomo. Oh, thanks. Oh, which brings me on Giacomo. Can you give me a little cameo? Yeah. Oh, that's so good, so good. Please check out the Kansas Smitty website. There's some great merchandise on there and also some great albums. And please, you can join as a patron or make one of donations. Let's get back to the great live music. Oh, yeah. Down in Honky
I, um, I hope you're having a great time. We're having a great time. Um, you got those high notes. <laughs> he said a bit of his lip is uh, not very nice. Just, yeah, very lippy mouthpiece. Um, that was called Way Down in Honky Tonk Town. And um, I just want to mention that, um, you know, at, at a later date, I, I was speaking to a, a really good friend of ours, a guy called Ricky Riccardi, who's a, a real hero um, of the, the jazz scene and of um, jazz history. And um, he's the head of the Louis Armstrong Archive. Um, is it at City, City University, New York, or is it? Um, I can't remember where it is. It's in, it's in, um, it's in Queens. It's in Queens. And Ricky has a great blog. If you ever get a chance to check it out, it's called DipperMouthBlogspot.com. Um, just, just Google him. Find him on Instagram. He's, uh, he's a real Louis Armstrong advocate, and he's just uh, published his most recent book about the big band years. And then he's going to go and do the hot five years. He's done the, the kind of all-star period. Anyway, I was talking to him about this kind of rivalry between Bechet and, and Armstrong. And at some point, we're going to do an interview about it. But he talks about, um, you know, some of the sessions. They, the Louis Armstrong and, and Bechet met up twice to record. And the first time, they were both kind of young and hungry, 20-somethings, that, um, you know, kind of were jostling for this, you know, um, position in the New Orleans kind of jazz community. So they recorded with Clarence Williams. They were doing gigs around town, et cetera. Um, Louis always, um, I think partially because of his character, Bechet was a more aggressive character, but Louis was, um, by all accounts, a, just a, a very warm soul, kind of excelled and, and was able to have that kind of um, calm, cool. And in the 30s, kind of rose to national fame, whereas Bechet didn't. He ended up running a tailoring shop in Harlem. I mean, I've always liked clothes, you know. I could go for the tailoring thing, you know, but national superstar, tailor, whatever. They met up again after that had all happened, and uh, the rivalry was a little bit more um, charged, let's say. And that down in Honky Tonk Town is one of the great products of that um, 1940 recording session. So check that out and, and just hear them kind of bubbling away. Um, but Ricky also played us a recording uh, of them at a live gig, the last time they played together live, which was in 1945. And you can hear that Bechet, every time Louis Armstrong starts in on a phrase, Bechet is right there, it's just like cutting him off, you know, just to say like, you know, I have to get this one over on you, you know. So um, we're not doing that tonight, right? No way. <laughs> Pete says, no way. Um, we're going to play uh, a Bechet classic now. This is one that he recorded a couple of times. And uh, it's a great blues. It's called Kansas City Man Blues. Um, rather apt title, I think. Um, Kansas City Man Blues.
I'm going to play a little duo number now and feature um, a pianist, Joe Webb. Um, give everybody's chops a break. Dave's lips are killing him. So <laughs> when <laughs> we hope you have a great time. <laughs> this is called Running Wild. What key is it in? A flat? Well, I mean, yeah. I <laughs> Smash his favorite I got song. That. Thank you. 
Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Oh, um, David Beckham. <laughs> that was running wild. We're going to continue on with a, um, another uh, Clarence Williams Bechet tune. This was right after he um, picked up his first soprano in London. Uh, amazing that he bought a soprano in London, right? You know? We're in London. Your name's Dan. <laughs> Pete. It's all coming together now. This is called Wildcat Blues.
<laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is called the conductor of the jazz ensemble. And that is me this evening. My name is Giacomo Smith. You've been listening to Daniel Hyam on the trombone. Woo! Pete Horsfall on the trumpet. Woo! Dave Archer on the guitar. Woo! Joe Webb on the piano. And now, Ozzy is going to... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy's gonna give you a few words. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Giacomo. I saw some nice comments in the live chat. I'm just gonna read a few out. Uh, Paul Wallace, it's so good to have Giacomo back, and what a lineup of musicians tonight. Sounding incredible, guys. Oh, thanks, man. From a Frederick Sandal, Joe and Dave, good rhythm. And I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> We've been friends for a while. <laughs> Very interesting name here. <laughs> K-Dog DK. Great story about Louis and Boucher. I didn't know that. Nice. Giacomo's like a fountain of knowledge. <laughs> I just want to thank the musicians. The returning Giacomo Smith. <laughs> Pete Horsfall. <laughs> Daniel Hyam. <laughs> Joe Webb. <laughs> Dave Archer. <laughs> and a wonderful crew as always. We are dropping down to one show a week, but please continue to support us and tune in by, um, tune, by um, tuning in on our Facebook and YouTube page. And you can join as a patron or make a one-off donation. I'm going to let them play us out now. Thanks, Ozzy. This is called Everybody Loves My Baby. My baby, my baby don't want nobody but me, nobody but me. Everybody wants my baby, but well, my baby don't want nobody but me. Well, that's plain to see. Gee.